Hello again. I'm going to talk to you a bit about the researched argument and what I expect from this paper and how we're going to work through it. Um, I have made one little change. Um, we're only going to do a peer review on the outline. Um, we're not going to do a peer review with Rough Draft 1. Um, I'm going to look at it and send you back some general feedback, um, but we'll get to that in a minute. So this particular essay is one of informational intent. You're giving us your best understanding of the um, topic and it's going to be an argument. You're making a case for a particular view of a particular topic or a problem. What should we do or think or understand about your focus? Okay, that's kind of your run around back of your head. Um, your researched argument will show us how much you've learned, what you've come to understand, and what you want your audience to understand about this particular topic at this particular time. So this is a formal paper, um, APA format of at least seven pages of text. Okay, so you should have nine pages total, maybe 10, depends on how many resources you have. Um, you need a title page, you're going to do an abstract, and then seven pages of text, um, and then you're going to have your references page at the end. Everything in APA format, um, we'll have done the outline before you get to this. We'll also have done a little bit of work on what's an abstract and what do you need to include um, through our e-text and so we're going to play with this a little bit. So your successful researched argument will have an introduction that explains the issue and gives your general stance and a thesis. Um, it may also have to have a background um, section where you're getting us up to speed on what is actually going on in this conversation. Um, if it's something that is fairly um, public, um, you see it everywhere, then maybe you don't need a background paragraph. Um, if it's something that's a little on, more on the technical side or more specific um, to a particular group of people or a particular discipline, um, you might need to give us a little bit more background. So depending upon what your topic is, you may have an extra section there. Um, at least three supported ideas. Um, you must have at least one source that supports each idea. You must explain each idea in detail with examples from your sources as support. So each of your main ideas should have at least a good paragraph, sometimes more than that. Depends upon how much work has been done in this section, how much has been, how, and how much you need to give us to show us what your argument really is. Um, at least one supported opposing point. Um, what would a reasonable person say to disagree with you, how do you answer that? Okay, maybe they have a good point, but it's not enough to change your mind. Maybe they don't have a good point, and here's why. Okay, um, you need a conclusion that sums up your proposal and leaves us with something to think about. Organization that helps make the reader make sense of the material. Make sure all the same ideas go into the same paragraph or section. Make sure all your sources point to the same ideas. Um, use good transition strategies to move your reader through the text. Um, normal attention to writing conventions, formatting, and tone. Okay, so those are your grading criteria. A few details here. You need at least seven sources. At least five of them must be academic. And by academic, I mean either um, newspaper kind of level sources, journalists, and or peer-reviewed. Okay, you need to have sources that actually back up your particular ideas, but they have to come from experts in the field, okay, or they have to come from highly respected journalists. They cannot be other students' papers, even if they're posted on a, a college website, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the person is um, an expert, so make sure you're doing your homework on that. Um, seven pages, type double space, Times New Roman, 12 point font, um, correct APA format for citations, both in text and the references. Um, make sure you're reading this out loud to catch the small stuff. Um, remember to include your title page, normal stuff. Um, include page numbers and keywords from the title and a header on each page. We've gone through this with the rhetorical analysis and with the, um, with the annotated bibliography, so you should be old hats at that. Um, you should have a descriptive title. Your title cannot be researched argument. Please hear me when I say this. It has to be something that actually makes sense for your paper. Um, don't forget your references page, alphabetize your sources, use hanging indent, use proper format. Um, the rough draft one um, is not going to have a peer review. Um, we've had a lot of issues with that. 
um, and we do every semester. It's not just you guys. Um, so rough draft one, um, you'll turn in and I will have a look at and just do some general feedback. Yes, you're on the right track. Um, please make sure you do this X. Okay. So rough draft draft two will be my traditional heavy feedback. Um, and then the final draft is your final draft. Remember that this is worth 30% of your overall grade. Okay. 300 points. If you want to think about it that way, um, make sure that you're paying attention, make sure that you're doing things on time. Um, we don't have a lot of time left in the semester, so, um, be diligent and keep on it. If you have questions about this or any other assignment, you know how to get a hold of me. You have my email.